His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received at Safriya Palace the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Guard Special Force Commander Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chief of Staff of the BDF Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, and Colonel Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting discussed local matters aimed at advancing national action and the country's development and progress. During the meeting, His Majesty commended the positive and successful participation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who on behalf of His Majesty the King led Bahrain's delegation at the 79th United Nations General Assembly. His Majesty commended the address delivered by His Royal Highness during the General Assembly. His Majesty also commended the dedicated efforts of the armed forces and public security officers in serving the nation and maintaining its security and their national role and strengthening the spirit of national belonging, their sacrifices and their efforts to safeguard the nation's achievements, unity and the safety of citizens and residents in Bahrain, as well as contributing to achieving sustainable development. His Majesty expressed confidence in their preparedness to fulfill their noble national duties with utmost dedication. His Majesty underscored the importance of de-escalation in the region and intensifying efforts for an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza and preserving the sovereignty of Lebanon and called for continued efforts to establish a comprehensive, just and lasting peace based on a two-state solution to ensure security and stability and halt escalation for the benefit of all. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's support for all efforts aimed at achieving security, stability and peace at the regional and international levels. His Majesty expressed pride in the unity of the people of Bahrain, highlighting their sense of fraternity, solidarity and awareness of the shared responsibility in consolidating the foundations of the nation's progress and contributing to the success of its development process. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghibiya Palace. The cabinet commended Bahrain's address at the 79th session of the UNGA delivered by His Royal Highness on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The speech stressed the importance of peace as a bedrock on which collective prosperity is built and enduring hope for all and highlighted a call for a holistic consensus-driven reform that encompasses pivotal multilateral organizations such as the United Nations to ensure that it reflects current geopolitical realities. The cabinet commended the outcomes of His Royal Highness's meeting with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, highlighting the strength Bahrain-UAE relations. The cabinet affirmed the importance of His Royal Highness's meetings with heads of state, prime ministers and delegate leaders, including the U.S. President and U.N. Secretary General on the sidelines of the UNGA. The meetings took place during His Royal Highness's leadership of Bahrain's delegation on behalf of His Majesty the King. The cabinet reviewed developments in the region and called for the cessation of escalation to uphold the sovereignty of Lebanon and to avoid further regional conflicts for the benefit of all. The cabinet affirmed the strength of the kingdom's national identity and social cohesion, adding that the strength of the kingdom's social fabric remains an integral pillar that safeguards the kingdom from various challenges and circumstances. The cabinet expressed its confidence in Bahraini citizens in upholding the values of principles of unity and loyalty in line with their national responsibility in protecting the kingdom's safety, achievements and cohesion to further development aspirations that benefit all. In celebration of World Teachers Day, the cabinet extended its gratitude to the kingdom's teachers, recognizing their crucial role in shaping the nation's education system and preparing students to contribute to Bahrain's development. The cabinet expresses condolences to Saudi Arabia's leadership, government and people following the death of two firefighters of their civil defense who died while battling the blaze at the Jeddah International Market. The cabinet also expresses condolences to the UAE following the death and injuries of several personnel of the UAE Armed Forces in an accident while performing their national duty in their country. The cabinet wished the injured a speedy recovery. The cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Information Technology and Communication on the Committee's recommendations on development initiatives to enhance Bahrain's e-government services. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the latest developments in Bahrain's priority competitiveness reports and indicators. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on regulatory procedures for housing services. 
a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on Bahrain's contributions to international organizations. A memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on a draft law ratifying the charter that establishes the Digital Cooperation Organization. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Tourism on the issuance of a ministerial decision to designate a new tourist site. And a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to three proposals and two laws submitted by the Representatives' Council. The Cabinet noted the following ministerial reports. The outcomes of Bahrain's participation in the Ministerial Coordination Meeting on the Conditions in Gaza and the Future of the Palestinian State. The outcomes of the meeting between the Minister of Foreign Affairs with the UK's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa. The outcomes of the Kingdom's participation in the World Tourism Day celebration. The outcomes of the Kingdom's participation in the 10th Annual World Congress of the World Free Zones Organization. And forum visits by Bahraini ministers and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain in September 2024. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Representatives Council, Speaker Ahmed Lamsellam and the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the national responsibility exhibited by Bahraini citizens in upholding the values of cohesion and solidarity that contribute to furthering the Kingdom's development. His Royal Highness expressed his trust in Bahraini citizens' social awareness by ongoing national responsibility and protecting the Kingdom's achievements in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visions and aspirations for the Kingdom. His Royal Highness noted the efforts of the members of the Legislative Authority in advancing the Kingdom's development aspirations and their commitment to strengthening collaboration with the Executive Authority to support various development initiatives and plans that benefits all. His Royal Highness noted that united efforts have contributed to achieving various accomplishments including development projects and many successes that have benefited the Kingdom's citizens. His Royal Highness commended the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities along with private sector, which furthers the kingdom's development. For their part, Lam Salam and Al Saleh expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness for his ongoing support for the cooperation between the two authorities. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior officials, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, and the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, also attended the meeting. The Kingdom of Bahrain speech delivered on behalf of His Majesty the King by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister during the 79th session of the UNGA emphasized the importance of supporting and promoting pluralism, cultural diversity, diplomacy and dialogue. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain speech delivered on behalf of His Majesty the King by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister during the general debate of the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly emphasized one of Bahrain's constants, which are supporting and promoting peaceful coexistence and establishing peace. Bahrain has a long history of supporting and promoting peaceful coexistence under the royal family. The legacy of peaceful coexistence in a pluralistic and harmonious society is a source of pride for Bahrain and a living model that it presents to the world in this United Nations Forum. For many years, the Kingdom emphasized the importance of peaceful coexistence as a universal value for humanity, and this emphasis was reflected in many initiatives, including the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, which conveyed Bahrain's message to the world through organized institutional work in addition to the recent launch of the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence. The Kingdom has always been a strong supporter of pluralism and cultural diversity, which is its unwavering approach. Last August, as part of His Majesty the King's vision that mutual respect for common humanity is one of the foundations for sustaining global harmony, Bahrain launched the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence. The Kingdom of Bahrain has long been a vocal advocate of pluralism and multiculturalism. It's who we are. In August of this year, and in line with His Majesty King Hamad's vision, that mutual respect for our shared humanity is essential for sustaining global harmony, Bahrain launched the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence. His Majesty the King has also called on the international community to convene an international peace conference on the Middle East. As current holder of the Arab League presidency, the Kingdom of Bahrain urges all nations to join us in this vital initiative, which seeks to strengthen efforts to achieve a just, comprehensive, and lasting peace in the region. Diplomacy and dialogue must prevail, indiscriminate violence, conflict and fragmentation 
will only drive us further from this noble goal. His Majesty the King also called on the international community to convene an international conference for peace in the Middle East, as the current chair of the Arab League, Bahrain, calls on all countries to join this important initiative which aims to strengthen efforts to achieve a just, comprehensive and lasting peace in the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain has taken the lead in promoting regional and international peace through its initiatives, and Bahrain's presidency of the current session of the Arab League emphasizes that the Kingdom is a supporter of rapprochement, dialogue and diplomacy, as a country that believes that violence has not and will not be a solution to any issue and that hatred always leads to division in societies and relations between countries. Bahrain's call to hold an international conference for peace in the Middle East came to motivate all countries to engage in a process in which peace is sustainable and people prosper. And to speak more about this topic, we are joined by the Director General of International Cooperation at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Fatma Abdullah Ba'an, with the following statement. Allow me to begin by commending the participation of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this session of the United Nations General Assembly High Level Week on behalf of His Majesty the King. Um, the Kingdom of Bahrain remains committed to openness in its foreign relations, grounded in the core principles of mutual respect and uh, non-interference in internal affairs of nation states. His Royal Highness's address reflected a comprehensive and integrated vision of the Kingdom's positions on pressing regional and international issues as well. It is clear that this significant speech aligns with the essence of His Majesty the King's remarks at the recent Arab summit hosted by the Kingdom, whereby His Majesty reaffirmed that peace is a profound human value. The participation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this session of the United Nations General Assembly stands as a distinguished example of its balanced diplomatic approach, underscoring its unwavering commitment to advancing key national priorities. Through its active engagement, the Kingdom continues to contribute effectively to the promotion of regional and international peace and security. Bahrain this year has demonstrated its dedication to both deepening bilateral ties and strengthening multilateral partnerships as well. So the Kingdom of Bahrain's call for an international peace conference reflects its long-standing commitment to advancing the principles of comprehensive and just peace. Bahrain will always continue to advocate for dialogue and peaceful resolutions, mm -hmm. adhering to a foreign policy that is both balanced and effective.
The Royal Endurance team secured second place in the FEI World Endurance Championship for young horses over a distance of 120 km in Sardinia, Italy, led by jockey Ma'youf Abdelaziz Al-Ramehi. The championship featured approximately 100 riders from 22 countries around the world. On this occasion, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, commended the team's efforts in winning second place. His Highness highlighted that this achievement strongly motivates the team to continue its efforts in maintaining Bahrain's status in endurance racing globally. He highlighted that the team participated with promising riders with high potential, expressing confidence in their ability to secure top positions. His Highness noted that such participation helps the riders gain more experience and improve their performance for future competitions. His Highness congratulated Rumehi for securing second place and congratulated Rashid Saeed from the UAE for winning first place. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, attended a workshop organized by the Ministry and the Eskan Bank on the developments of the Government Land Development Rights Program in partnership with the private sector in the presence of a number of officials from relevant ministries and government agencies, real estate development companies and contracting companies, and a number of banks in the Kingdom. The Minister said that as part of implementing the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to expand the Government Land Development Rights Program, the Ministry worked to provide a package of government lands and include them in a timetable table for implementation by real estate development companies in the kingdom with the aim of expanding the options for providing housing services to citizens. She added that this program provides promising opportunities to enhance the partnership between the public and private sectors in providing housing services to citizens. She noted the positive results of the evaluation of the first phase of the program represented by Sahel Housing Project in Alawzi, which witnessed a remarkable turnout by citizens and resulted in the sale of all units of the project to citizens benefiting from the housing finance program. The Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Nas, handed over the presidency of the Union of Arab Chambers in its 135th session to the President of Tunisian Confederation of Industry, Trade and Handicraft, Samir Majul, during the Board of Directors of the Union of Arab Chambers meeting held in Qatar. The Union reviewed its achievements and highlighted the need to address the growing challenges faced by the Arab private sector due to global conflicts and Middle East tensions. It aims to enhance economic growth in Arab countries by consolidating complementary development partnerships, which are seen as the best way to address current economic crises. During his speech, Nas expressed pride in handing over the presidency of the Union to Majul, wishing him success. The Secretary General of the Union, Dr. Khaled Hanafi, stated that during the two years of Nas's presidency, the Arab Chamber successfully strengthened economic cooperation with foreign nations, as well as signing numerous agreements and MOUs. The Ministry of Social Development revealed the latest statistics of family counseling services and programs as it provided 1,494 family consultations during the month of January until April of this year.
The intelligent CIO magazine, which specializes in information technology, praises Survey and Land Registration Bureau in the Kingdom of Bahrain for acquiring data powered by artificial intelligence. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain is actively investing in modern technologies across various sectors, mainly in real estate to further enhance urban planning and development. The Survey and Land Registration Bureau has utilized Planet Labs PPC, which provides updated satellite images every two weeks. This technology allows for efficient tracking of structural and environmental changes, thereby supporting the development of smart cities, sustainable agriculture, and proactive environmental protection. The Kingdom has developed a comprehensive national plan aimed at preparing for the digital economy and integrating AI technologies across various domains. This includes establishing necessary regulations, improving technical infrastructure, and encouraging investments to maximize the benefit of these advancements for the national economy.